What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Stevo here, and it's time for the Week 2 match in the Pokemon Premier League up against the Miami Rotom Heat. Now Erasmus, the coach for that team, is having a little bit of issues with his Wi-Fi on campus, so we're doing this on Showdown. I'll give you a quick rundown of my team. I actually decided to go with Law Punny, uh, a Choice Bex, Noivern, a Levani with Focus Ash, uh, especially Defensive Florges, and then Toxicroak with Swords Dance, with Low Kick in order to hit the Aggron, and a Sharp Beak Talonflame just to put on a lot of pressure. Um, some notable things are I decided to go with Magico on um, my Levani. If I can predict when he tries to put up his Stealth Rocks, I can put up Stealth Rocks for myself. Um, so that'll be kind of nice. Also, I went with Frisk on Noivern over Infiltrator just because that'll help me figure out what things are Zoroark. And if he's running Scarf on any of his Pokemon, I'll be able to find out pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and go in and challenge him. And we're going to be right back as soon as he accepts. Alrighty, so we are back. It looks like he's decided to lead with, uh, well not lead, but he has Clefable, Mianxiao, Electross, Starmie, Gastrodon, and his Aggron. Relatively bulky overall, actually, with only Starmie and Mianxiao being pretty frail. Sticky Web will do nicely here, though. The main thing is that I want to I want to slow down any possible Scarf Mianxiao shenanigans. Um, he's probably going to lead with Aggron or Mianxiao. I would, I would imagine he might lead with Electross for Volt Switch. But uh, with either Aggron or Mianxiao, I still really like leading with my Noivern. Uh, Noivern can U-turn away from Aggron and... Uh, I can go into Law Punny to kind of avoid that possible Thunder Wave chance, of course. So that's not a bad way to lead out. Alright, so yeah, he says good luck, have fun. Oh, I already said it in the Skype chat, so I won't reach way over there to type that. Okay, so here we go. I, yeah, we're going to go ahead and lead with my choice specs, and hopefully he needs it with the me and Shao. That way I can see if he is scarfed or not. That would be really, really nice. I'm really happy to not see Zoroark, though I don't have to play around with shenanigans and guessing if he has Zoroark or not. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and lead with my Noivern. And since he only has Clefable to absorb hits from it after I remove Clefable, then we will be sitting very, very nicely, actually. And actually, I've already picked my starter. Um, other things to watch out for here, he might have Mirror Coat or Counter on Gastrodon. I've seen both of those run and I've run Counter Gastrodon myself. Uh, and that's why I kind of brought Levani as well. Being able to one-hit KO Starmie and Gastrodon is really nice. Uh, so, he does lead with the Mian Shao, which means he probably is Scarfed. And that is exactly what we find out. So, he might go for Stone Edge. I'm assuming he's going to go for U-Turn here. Um... If he does go for Stone Edge, though, I can bring in Lurker to take just about anything that he wants to throw at me. If he goes for U-Turn, he'll probably just go out into the Aggron, I would expect. Um, I can also go for my own slower U-Turn, but here I really don't want to risk anything. Just going to go right on into Toxic Crook in case he wants to go for Stone Edge. Or the random uh, fighting type move, trying to predict me to do something else. I don't know. But Toxic Crook comes in pretty much for free here. Oh, man, so I just got off of work. Actually, I kind of just rushed home right when I got off of work so I could battle him. I wanted to get this up kind of in a timely manner for you all, of course. But at the same time, I put a lot of planning into this battle, and this is the these are the ones I feel most comfortable bringing. Um, he's just going to double switch into his Electros, which is interesting. Um, let's see here. Since he decided to double switch... Does that mean that he doesn't have Stone Edge? I, don't, I can't imagine that he wouldn't bring Stone Edge knowing that I have Talonflame. That's odd. Um, and if he's Scarfed, of course, that means that he doesn't have Fake Out, so I do like that. I can't do much damage to Electros without utilizing my uh, Swords Dance here. Gunk Shot would do a sizable chunk, but I don't know that I want to go for that just yet. And I don't know what moves Electros has. I expect here he's either going to Thunder Wave or Volt Switch again. So that means that my best switch is probably going to be Aromatis. I can pass a Wish off if I need to. Alternatively, I could just go straight for Gunk Shot. There's no way he's going to switch into uh, Aggron on a Fighting type, I, I wouldn't think. Um, gunk Shot is actually not a bad play. It will put some good offensive pressure on him. So yeah, we're just going to go straight for Gunk Shot to see what he does. So, that's a one-hit KO. Good gravy. Okay, good job, Toxicroak. 
I'm gonna chalk up a single victory there. For Toxicroak, I'm happy I just went straight for the Gunk Shot. So putting Life Orb on Toxicroak has proven to be very beneficial. And I'm, I'm guessing here he's going to go out into Cliff. Well, probably Agron, I would have to guess. Um, getting rid of Electros is a huge thorn out of my side because that thing is pretty bulky. Uh, although, guess based on that damage and the way he took that, I would guess that he's either all the way offensive or especially defensive. Or maybe full offensive with the Assault Vest or something like that. I do like the nickname though. The Delectable Electros. It was delicious. I don't think a frog would eat um, a Lamprey though, generally. Although they are kind of wormy, just Lamprey has so many teeth, it just doesn't seem like a very platable dish, really. Now, I do expect him to go out into, uh, he could go out into his Starmie, but he knows that I have, I mean, he should know that I have Sucker Punch. He knows that I have Life Orb, too. Gastrodon would be a good switch here, because I don't really have a good way to hit it, since I'm running Low Kick, and Gastrodon is very light. Gastrodon would force my, um, Florges to come in, of course, too. And if he was running... Uh, Stealth Rock on Gastrodon, that will give him a free opportunity to put it up. But, I don't think he'll run Stealth Rock on Gastrodon. So, it should be interesting. Um, if he does go into Gastrodon, my switch is leave Annie. If he goes out into Agron, I'm going to stay in and low kick it in the face. Because I'd rather not deal with Agron. And once Agron is sufficiently weakened, then Talonflame basically cleans up his team. So, that's going to be the game plan for now. If I get an opportunity to Mega Evolve, it will probably be uh, after something gets KO'd. I can bring in my Lopunny and then use Fake Out. Uh, I didn't want to use High Jump Kick again because I didn't really need it for this match. Um, substitute Drain Punch is going to be better overall. Oh. Wait, why did he, he forfeit it? Oh, did he do... My stuff is a low 100. Why wouldn't it be at level 100? Let's go see what's up. Wow, okay, so he actually forfeited just because all of my Pokemon are at level 100. Did not realize that mine were at level 100 and his were at level 50, which definitely explains how Electros goes, went down. I did not expect that to go down so quickly. Uh, so this kind of changes things some. Now that I know that he has a Choice Scarf me and Shao, um, and he knows that my Toxic Hook is Life Orb, that definitely changes things just a little bit, but we're going to get back into it. And this time, hopefully, it's going to be um, the way it should have been the first time, I guess, is the right word. So I don't I don't know if I should just replay the same opening turns. It would be useful to find out what type of Starmie that is, I'm assuming. Uh, or if he decides to leave with Electros, it would be good to find out what that's holding, too. I'm assuming that Clefable is just holding Leftovers. But, um, hmm. So we're just gonna go, I think I'm just gonna lead with Noivern once again. I don't really have a reason not to. Uh, especially since I hard switched out last time, he might still think that I can't outspeed. So, but I could just go for Draco Meteor here, honestly. Granted, he might switch into Clefable. He could also switch into Aggron. But if I, if he's gonna do the slow, the U-turn thing again, last time he hard switched, so this time, well, actually, let me ask him. Um, I want to make sure that we're not trying to repeat moves or anything. Okay, good. That means I can do whatever I want now. So, here, I, I'm really worried that he's going to try to stone edge me. Um, last time I went out into Lurker, but... Um... I feel like I can take anything that he wants to do with Aromatisse too. If he goes for U-turn there when I go into Aromatisse, he will be going out into Aggron. And I don't really want to give him that opportunity to do so. Uh, I'm really tempted to go for my own slower Stone Edge here. I mean, not my Stone Edge, my own slower U-turn, excuse me. Hurricane would be nice to just get general damage off on his things here. So yeah, I'm just going to go out in the Lurker. That's my safest option, and it also stops him from going out into uh, Aggron for free. And so he goes for a U-turn this time, and he goes out into his Gastrodon, which I am quite okay with. Uh, Gastrodon shouldn't really be able to touch my 
the vanny, and of course I can also switch into my floor just here. And that'll give me a free chance to knock off something if I hit go into Lee Vanny too. He also might burn me with Skull, but I'm not very worried about that. I do have Leaf Storm. Yep, we're gonna go for that. If I can get up the Sticky Web, that puts a lot of pressure on him to go into Starmie too, which is pretty nice. Uh, Sticky Web will be also good because it'll get rid of his Choice Scarf basically on the Mian Shao. So neutering that would be really, really nice because he didn't bring Fake Out. So why not get rid of that Choice Scarf with Sticky Web? Now, don't be salty. Slugs really don't like to be salty, so I can I can understand that nickname. And I'll try not to be salty about any particular burns that might be going on here. I'm assuming he's getting Scald here. Okay, double switching out into Agron. Alrighty, so we're gonna go right for Magic Coat here. Um, if he decides to go straight for the attack, I can of course... Okay, good, I got off Stealth Rocks, fantastic. Gotta love that. And that gives me a chance here to, I don't really want to switch to Lurker, he might have Earthquake. Um, I'm assuming he's just going to go for his rocks again, so let's just set up Sticky Web. I'm going to force that Starmie to come in here. And then finally... Hmm, let's see what attacking move he's going to use here. If he has, I'm assuming he brought some type of rock type move with him, would be my assumption. Um, if he goes for Heavy Slam, that's going to be a pretty big problem. So we're just going to go into Lurker directly and hope that he goes for the Rock-type move. He might also have Thunder Wave, which would be pretty annoying too. So yeah, let's just go right into Lurker. He doesn't know that I have Low Kick. He might be expecting me to have Drain Punch. So, okay, Heavy Slam is uh, immediate KO. Alrighty then. That sucks. So now that means I have to go into my... Oh man, I shouldn't have done that, I guess. Alrighty. Well, that's not too bad, because now I can go into... Hmm. I should have just let him take the hit, is what I'm guessing here, because now his sash is going to be broken anyway. Okay, so we're going to go into Law Punny and go for a fake out. Um... I think with Lopunny's boosted defenses after Mega Evolving, I can take a Heavy Slam. So that's not too terrible. I'm really afraid he's going to have a Rock-type move, otherwise I would just go into Noivern here and go for the Specs Flamethrower. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into Lopunny. That takes some Rocks damage, but that's to be expected. And there's not a lot of point in going for Fake Out here, actually. Uh, I think I should just go straight for a Drain Punch. Um, yeah, I don't see a lot of reason to not do that. I could go for Substitute too, expecting him to uh, try to Dragon Tail or something weird. Let's just go for Substitute to see what he does. Because I know he's expecting me to have High Jump Kick, so... If he has Protect randomly, then I'll get up for Free Substitute too. I hate that I lost Lurker like that, that sucked. I didn't expect him to one hit KO a Heavy Slam, but I also didn't expect him to go straight for Heavy Slam like that. I thought he'd go for the Rock move. But with Agron being that heavy, it's hard to pass it up. What's his, uh... Oh, PSI guy. PSI J guy. I'm not familiar with that user. I'm gonna go find that user so I can say, hey, I battle against you. You know, he'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. You were Agron, remember, sir? You were Agron. So here, I'm expecting him to just Heavy Slam again. Uh, if he switches, that would be fantastic. He might even switch into Starmie, which depending on if it's bulky or not, it may or may not take the hit. I'm not really sure. Uh, as far as the hit, I mean the return. But I don't think he'll go right into Starmie. He might go into Electros, actually, which I would be okay with, too. Uh, once I take out Clefable, then I can get to that secondary strategy of dropping Draco Meteors on his team, so that would be nice. Can't quite do that with Clefable and Agron sitting around here, though. He's taking a lot of time on his turn, so he's gonna... Oh, he is gonna switch. Okay, great. Alrighty, then. Alright, so we get up that substitute, which is pretty nice. Now I'm just gonna go for Drain Punch here, just to get off a little bit of damage. Um, well, I guess two returns might be better. Let's see what he goes for. 
Let's see. Nope, it's not enough. Yeah, just not not quite enough there. Now the question is, do I want to risk getting burned here? And I don't think it's really worth the risk, honestly. But the switch out to my um, Nightingale is pretty obvious at the same time. Hmm. And I definitely need to keep Law Punny healthy. And needs to take a few more switches in the Stealth Rock too. So in that case, yeah, let's just go out into. Hmm. If I go out into Floor, does it basically invite Floor just or leave any invited back in really? And I don't really want to take the Stealth Rock damage this early in the battle. So yeah, I think I'm basically forced to go out into Noivern if I don't want to give him any. Uh, yeah, this is a really obvious switch, so I don't like it at all. I feel like he's going to double switch out into his Aggron, which would be annoying. Let's see here. I'm going to go out into Noivern. I know he has leftovers. I just saw him use them. Don't burn me. Thank you. Alrighty, so now I can go for Wonderful Specs Hurricane. Hopefully I hit it, because that would be annoying if I missed. But I, he might go on the Clefable. Clefable can't take two Specs Hurricanes. And if he goes on into Agron, Agron will take it. Uh, it should do a decent chunk, like maybe 20%, 20 to 25%, I would expect. It would be great to kill the Gastrodon this early, though, if he just doesn't want something to come in. Of course, this is all something that I'm wasting time talking about if I miss Hurricane. So, I'd rather not deal with that scenario. Uh, it would be really great if you stayed in here, man. I wonder if he has protect though. I see whenever you run Mega Law Punny and your opponents know that you have it, I just kind of expect them to fish for protect throughout the battle. Like just use it kind of randomly when they think I'm gonna high drum kick and it's like, oh yay, free substitute. So it's a nice mind game to be played there because they know that I can just high jump kick and they know I'm bringing Mega Law Pony into the battle in the first place. So why not use that as an opportunity to to get a free substitute here and there? And it worked out okay. I I was able to do. 42% to Gastrodon, which, put him, which puts him in range of this attack. I really hope he goes out into Clefable, honestly. Because if I can hit two Specs Hurricanes on that, that's, in the, that's the end of Clefable. So. Hopefully, whatever he does here will work out in my favor, though. I just really need to keep the Pro Show on the side of the team so that he can't spin. Because um, losing Toxicroak really sucks, actually. I definitely did not want to lose him that early in the manner that I lost him. I guess looking back, I could have just left Levani in to sacrifice it, but who wants to sacrifice Levani when he has two water types? That's just not that's necessarily something that you want to do. And with Sticky Web up, I outspeed both water types. So why sacrifice it? Not a lot of point in that. So he goes on into Electros. He definitely called my use of Hurricane there. Not quite enough to finish it off, but that's okay though, because I get an easy switch out into Iris here. And he might just Volt Switch. I'm, I'm expecting him to do a slow Volt Switch. Uh, yeah. But he might have a setup move too, which would be annoying. But if he does do the slow Volt Switch thing, that gives me a chance to pass a Wish if he doesn't do it, rather. Um, so he is just going to do the slow Volt Switch, probably back out into Mega Akron. Which is, oh, he's going to spin. Okay, cool. I will take this opportunity to go out into... Actually, I'm going to Wish first, and then I'm going to head out into Levani. Um, I could also go ahead and directly switch as he spins into my Noivern. Hmm. Decisions, decisions there, huh? But he's definitely going to spin. Let's just go for... Yeah, let's Wish up first. Because, yeah, he's definitely going to spin. Bing. And now, he has to predict whom I'm going into, whether it's... I don't think it's going to be wise to switch into... And I see that he has leftovers, too, and not life for it, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't think he's going to go for Ice Beam. Well, no, Ice Beam actually will hit two of my members and the other two neutrally. So Ice Beam actually looks pretty likely here. Psy Shock, I don't know if that's the move he wants to go for either. Let's use the opportunity to go into... I think he's going to Ice Beam, honestly. So yeah, let's just go on into Talon Flame, and then I can go from there. Because I think he's going to Ice Beam just because of the good neutral coverage it has on my team. He could Psy Shock, which would be a problem, but Ice Beam or... Okay, he heads out into Clefable. 
Good, I'm able to put on some pressure here because I get the wish to get my HP back, which is great. Alrighty. So I'm just going to go straight for Flare Blitz here. Um, I don't think there's much you can do about it. Clefable's going to take it pretty easily, but it should be a... Well, actually, Bray Bear will be better here. Um, um, um... Yeah. Yeah, let's just go in and Bray Bird right away. Because this should be... It's not even a 2 hit KO. Jeez. Thunder Wave, I don't mind that because I have Aromatherapy on Aromatisse, which is why I put it on there, honestly. Uh... I guess I'm just going to try to go for Flare Blitz here in case he tries to go out into Aggron. Which would be pretty annoying. Okay, he has Moonlight. That's equally annoying. Maybe I can burn him? No, no burn. Okay, so I need to roost up at this point for sure. And I don't mind him wasting his Moonlight. He's used one, he has seven remaining. On the PP on Moonlight. The power points. The powerful points. Or whatever you want to call them. Hmm. Yeah, losing Lurker that early in the match lost me a lot of of because like now I don't have a way to check the Fable, and I had that was my secondary way of dealing with. Oh, I got paralyzed. No, I would have loved to to heal up there. That would have been nice. Alrighty, so since he's back in with this, we go back out into Levani this time because I can't take another switch into Stealth Rock with that remaining HP. Oh, he has Ice Beam. Crap. That's unfortunate. That's okay, though. I'm just going to go straight for Leaf Storm. Uh, I know he might switch into Aggron, but even if he does, I can outspeed it and set up Sticky Web. So, we're just going to go right for it. Oh, that's even better. Getting rid of the Starmie. I'm not sure why he switched into Starmie. Um, out into Mianxiao now. Uh, Mianxiao still can't really touch my Florges, which is pretty nice. Um... Let's see here. Actually, I need to make a note that Levani can't start. So what is he going to do here? I imagine he's just going to U-turn, because that's the move that makes the most sense. Uh, Starmie out of the way is actually pretty nice, because now I can spam Drain Punch with Impunity with besides Clefable. Hmm... I really feel like I should just... Well, if I switch out here, I don't have a way to get rid of the rocks either. So, yeah, there's no real point in switching out. I would just go for knockoff in case he tries anything weird. Okay, straight for poison jab. Great. Unfortunately, there, leave any. Very unfortunate. So that means he's locked into poison jab, which is okay. That means I can go out into... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to use this opportunity to go out into... Mm. I feel like I can put the most pressure on with... I'm only at 60% HP though, that's an issue. That's a pretty big issue there. So what are his moves then? A fighting move, poison jab, U-turn. And I don't know what that last move is. Dynabat might be my best bet here. Uh, he's at 56%. So I get two more switches into Stealth Rocks, basically, after this switch in. Or one more, actually. So let's see. Let's think here. I can switch in Dynabat, and then immediately go for... Man, that's tough. That's tough. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go for Dyna... Well, if I switch in Pyrexis, I'm paralyzed, which is a, an issue. I can't switch into Iris because he's locked in a Poison Jab. Even though it actually won't do that much, but I'd still rather not take that damage at this point. So... Yeah, we're going to go for Thumper, the Lock Honey. And I know he's expecting me to go ahead and uh, substitute, so we're going to fake out first. He's probably just going to want to break my sub, so I can at least force him to recover some HP with Regenerator here. Man, I have to use a bathroom like a very, very, very young child. I have to use the bathroom rather bad. I actually read that the, um, when you have to use the bathroom and you're trying to make decisions, the adrenaline that's sent to your head from having to use the bathroom makes you make better decisions on the fly. So maybe that'll help me come through in this battle. Uh, so I'm expecting him to just stay in here and take the fake out, which would be fine by me, by all means. Please take the fake out. Yes, he does. He just stays in and takes it. Fantastic. Alrighty. So now I'm just going to go for um, Drain Punch, because I don't think he can KO me with that move and I will need to get some HP back 
after uh, okay or he just lets his scarf me and shall die fantastic so La Punny picks up that KO which is really really nice that took a lot of pressure off of my team and now he's probably gonna go out into his Clefable but Clefable actually can't well he, he'll probably just Moonblast me really but that's okay if he does just Moonblast me that's okay Mm, Clefable. I'm not really sure, and I don't know. He must have been running an adamant Mian Shao. I don't think Mian Shao would have failed to outspeed there. So we ended up going out into the Clefable, which is interesting. I think I'm just going to go for. Uh, he might try to paralyze me, expecting a switch. Clefable can't really touch my. Um, yeah, that's really risky though, because he might double switch out into the Akron. That's pretty risky. We're going to have to take that risk, unfortunately. I would love to go for Aromatherapy here and heal my uh, Talonflame. But... Okay, he's just going to go for Moonlight. I could have totally hit him again. Oh well. That's okay, because I get to get rid of that very annoying deal there. Oh great, it's one of these. Oh boy, so much fun. That means I'm relegated to go for Moonblast trying to get special attack drops, which is annoying at best. Alrighty, so let's hope for some special attack drops here. So that's his whole moveset then. Thunder Wave, Calm Mind, Moonlight, and Moonblast. Great. And still no special attack drop. We're going to go for it again and hope for another one. There it is. Got the special attack drop that time. He goes for the Paralysis, which is... That's pretty annoying because now it's it's really a 50-50 and I can't really afford to take a turn to heal the paralysis So please don't get paralyzed. I need to heal basically my paralysis the same turn that he goes for his own moonlight I'm gonna go for another moon blast. Oh, he expected a switch there. Interesting. Come on another drop. Got a crit. Again, I got another drop. Alrighty Good. I will take it as I use a uh, Clefable back in the Indigo League of Legends, so I am definitely okay with that here and I know he's gonna... Oh, I got paralyzed right when I tried to get rid of it, too. Okay, we're gonna try... One more time? Should I try again? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna try again. He's calm mining again. Don't get paralyzed again, Iris. Come on. Did you get rid of that paralysis? There we go. Get rid of that. Okay. So we gotta keep on moon blasting here. Get rid of... I got another crit. This is ridiculous. Okay. I definitely was not in... Expecting to get this lucky with the crits and all. Paralysis, that kind of makes up for the crit some. Eventually he's going to run out of Moonlight, and that's kind of what I'm banking on here. Because he's used... He used one already. Um, that's one. That's two. And that's three. So he's used three, so he has five remaining. We're going to go for Moonblast again, because he's just going to keep on Calm Mining, and i got to keep that special attack in check, basically. Oh man, I got paralyzed again. That's no good. So yeah, he's definitely going to Moonblast now. i got to keep that special attack in check. Basically, it needs to be at the level where I can come in with uh, Talonflame and finish him off after this wonderful back and forth that we're having. Oh man... I would love for no more paralyses. Granted, I've crit him twice, so guess which one of those is more probable? Probable. Oh, he got his own special attack drop. I need one too. I need one too. Dang it. Okay, so he's definitely going to start setting up more. Let's go ahead and go for aromatherapy because he's going to set up some more. Please go away, paralysis. Go away. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's go for Moonblast again. Got another crit because why the fuck not? Paralysis again. These this I I mean I'm okay with how this crit game is going. It's just I don't know. That's gonna be its fourth moonlight. He's running out of moonlights, which is pretty nice. Getting rid of the paralysis again. Another moon blast. Got another crit. What the hell? Okay, and we're paralyzed again. This is a really I'm happy we're not doing this in game because this would be a bit much, really. That's his, he has, what, three remaining? 
Okay, we're gonna go for Moonblast again. Okay, I think his special attack is high enough to where I need to stop aromatherapy. Yep. Oh, I got paralyzed new. No. Okay. Well. Yeah, we just need the Moonblast to try to drop that special attack down. Come on, drop. There we go, got one drop. Um, let's, uh... I guess I can try to protect? Nope, get paralyzed. Well, I guess after the crits I deserve that, but at the end of the day those crits really didn't matter. So I'm not sure if I deserve that or not, really. This might be game here, because I can't really do much to him, per se. Um, I can go for Fake Out. And, uh, yeah, Fake Out Return. Why do you say Cut Step? What would I have that on? Cut Step on whom? I don't know. None of the Pokemon that I have were likely whole Cut Step Berry. So, let's just go for... I don't think Pyrexis can take a Moonblast after switching into Stealth Rocks, actually. Hmm. I guess I have to go for Return. It's not gonna... It's, it might do half from this range. It's very, definitely not reliable. I kind of have to go for it, though. Okay, I put him at half, but... That's unfortunato. Okay, we'll try for the brave burning goodness here. Yeah, this is going to be game, unfortunately. No, so close. So very close. Oh, I should have just roosted with the troll moonlight there. Okay, so with plus, what, four special defense, we're going to try for the hurricane crit here. Nope, not even close. All right, well, good game. That was that was a sad failed sweep at the end there. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be week two for the Eterna City Enders. Unfortunately in the PPL losing O oh, and four. Um, I think I planned for that as well as I could. I really should have played better with Lurker is the main thing there. But we're gonna roll into week three, hopefully do a little bit better, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later. <laughs>